So there's a campaign online to make Elsa, uh, a Disney character in the movie Frozen, gay in the upcoming sequel. And uh, conservative radio host Kevin Swanson is not happy about this, so let's see what he has to say. Anybody who opposes the homosexualizing of the kids is shamed for it and has been shamed, and very few people have stood against the homosexualizing of children in K-6 schools in Douglas County, Colorado, or anywhere else where the GLSEN program is constantly being pushed. So are you saying that you've taken flack for this? Well, all you need to do, <laughs> all you need to do to prove the point that anybody who opposes the homosexualizing of the kids' agenda is shamed, all you need to do is check out Kevin Swanson and the word frozen on your Google search. And you'll see that there is somebody who attempted it. I tested it. I know it. Anybody who has the guts to stand up against the homosexualizing of kids in the present day will be shamed for it. And that means that the homosexualizing of kids will be, I think, wholesale happening across this country in the next two, three, four, five, ten years. Of course, Elsa is going to get her girlfriend eventually. That's the way you destroy sexuality. That's the way you destroy an entire civilization. The entire social system of the United States of America is collapsing. But in order for the system to collapse, you've got to be sure that the destruction maintains a cross-generational vision. You've got to be sure that you have homosexualized four-year-olds and six-year-olds and eight-year-olds and ten-year-olds in order to destroy a civilization because the destruction of a civilization happens over two or three or maybe four generations max. In order to bring a civilization down, you've got to homosexualize the kids. You nailed it, man. That's what Disney's doing. How can we bring down America? Hmm. Maybe if we make a cartoon character that's gay? That'll do it. Brilliant idea. Somebody get this guy a raise. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, so, let's stop and think about this rationally for a second, unlike this maniac. Why would you make a character gay in a Disney movie? Well, sane people might come away with the conclusion that you're trying to teach tolerance and acceptance uh, and to let kids know who can honestly be vicious tribalists you're letting them know like okay just because somebody's different from you hey if they have different color skin if they have a different religion or background if they have a different sexual orientation that doesn't mean they're evil so hey here's a very popular character and it turns out the character's gay well you just created a whole generation of kids that are uh, accepting and tolerant of lifestyles that may not be exactly like theirs. But in this guy's lunatic mind, he goes, No, they're doing it because they're trying to make the kids gay. Never in human history has a kid watched a cartoon that happened to have a gay character and little Bobby turned to mommy and daddy and said, I'd really like to suck Johnny's ball sack. That doesn't happen. You're not turning them gay. You are not turning them gay. When I, when I have seen gay characters on TV or elsewhere, gay people in real life, I wasn't struck with a sudden urge to give hand jobs. I was oh, all of a sudden, now I'm really sexually attracted to the same gender. That's not how it works! That's not how it works! You're kind of attracted to what you're attracted to, but again, this tells you so much about this guy, Kevin Swanson. Because this has been his main issue. All he does is talk about this. All he does is talk about gay people, and he can't help himself. Why? Because he's repressing those urges himself. So he said it. He's like, what you're trying to do is you're trying to destroy a civilization, destroy a country, and destroy sexuality. Now, how can that make sense? Let's try to, you know, put ourselves, again, in his backwards mind here for a second. How would that comment make sense? Because to us, that's like out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, he thinks you'll destroy a civilization, you'll destroy a country if you start, in his mind, promoting homosexuality. Why? Because he thinks, well, all it's going to take for these kids to start being gay is for you to promote it. See, he doesn't think that it's just teaching tolerance and acceptance and not every kid is going to turn gay because not every kid is gay. He thinks once you promote it, everybody's going to want to only have sex with the same gender and only marry the same gender. Why? Because that's what I want. 
The only thing that's preventing me from doing it is society and the judgment and the shame of e other evangelical fundamentalist Christians. If you remove that, oh my god, are you kidding me? I want to swim in a pool of dicks. That's what I'm about all day long. That's how this guy thinks. He thinks, oh, putting a gay character in a Disney movie, that destroys sexuality. No, it doesn't. Your sexuality is what it is. If you're gay, you're gay. If you're straight, you're straight. If you're bi, you're bi. It, that just is what it is. But in his mind, no! We all have that gay urge, and the moral people fight it off. And when Disney says it's okay to be gay, that's given the green light. And now everybody's gonna want to marry the same gender. Look at these people. That's not how we think. That's how you think. It's so sad. You're wearing it on your sleeve. You're gayer than Doogie Hauser in a field full of dicks. Go put on some assless chaps. Go jump in the gay pride parade because that's who you really are. Stop being a hate-filled idiot.